All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. Haven't done in these in like forever, and we're going up against a guy called Tay. And um, I'll be honest, you know, we didn't necessarily define the rules that much, but we said no Ubers. And uh, this is a sort of a post-com battle because I kind of screwed up my microphone, but it turned out to be quite an interesting game. Now I'm using a team that is heavily, heavily based on um, how Lucha, Rillabo, and Cinderace to be effective. Now we're going up against Galvantula. Toxapex, Grimmsnarl, Umbreon, Sarah, Aura, and Cinderace himself. So all I was thinking was, I need some how way to deal with not dealing with stick webs and not dealing with screens all that much. So my Quovenite is kind of key here, and I decided to lead off with Clefable, and the idea there was kinda to um, kind of disrupt his Galvanic with someone specially defensive, and we should be able to take some hits, and I'm not in terribly scary of the situation but you know it, it's clearly annoying enough to you know how do i deal with this how do i level about it so with that in mind you know he gonna lead off with galvanchna which i felt was you know obvious enough and um basically as i was starting i was feeling you know what i'll, I'll get a self rocks you know I'll, I'll ship him down see which pokemon that could have potentially have a duty boots or be in scarf basically i wanted some type of gauging on the Cinderace. But he goes directly for a Thunder, and this is a very, very, very heavy hitting Thunder. So he is absolutely a life orb, and uh, that's kind of an issue, mainly because it does so much damage on me, and I need him to be with life orb in mind, probably down to 66% to actually knock him out efficiently. So knock up is out of the equation, because then I'm no way absolutely love, you know, render him useless as. Uh, I'm staying in, I'm softballing, I'm a ground type, I'm feeling really silly when I built this team that I am actually quite weak to uh, electric and Galvantula is not helping. While Galvantula is always a Pokemon that people deem to say it is a bit on the weak side, the combination of its stabs are so frustrating to get with compound house, uh, house eyes that if it spams Thunder for free it actually does hurt. Um, so as you guys saw, I went to my screen. I was figuring, do, do I even switch into this? Uh, eventually, you know, the yellow magic kicks in. I am paralyzed, and uh, basically, I am on a potential timer to whether or not could I even switch in here. Uh, I decided to take a bit of a risk, hoping that um, if I go for a moonblast here, uh, at least I will be able to. If I don't knock him out, maybe life or will. Um, and that was really my only thought, like, basically, I'm not sacking Clefable, was rather forcing him down to keep spanning Thunder and then bringing Rillaboom to soak the last hit if it fails. But it goes for Energy Ball, which I couldn't tell you why, as basically, like I said, Thunder is very free, and Moonblast is not doing the damage I was hoping <laughs> at all. And um, the only positive part here is that I actually am free to soft boil and Life Orb should be knocking him out, but he could either crit me or I could get fully paralyzed, and if so, then oh, that is that basically means that Galvanish like get exactly what he wanted. But I was so surprised because the reason I went for softball was because you know now the webs gotta come, right? But no, he maybe never even had them. And that kind of perplexes me as you know, then why would he lead off with a Galvantula? But yeah. I guess was trying to go for that kill, and um, Clefable is basically as healthy as it could have been, barring that paralyzation. <laughs> so it brings in Grim Snarl, and uh, I'll be honest, the thing here is that I know it's not a sweeper variant one, the, the synergy of the team does not allow it, so I decided to go for knockoff, just trying to cut his screen sh short, and um, in hindsight, I, I, I know what he would switch into anyway, but yeah, knockoff didn't do anything. But I got off Lightly, which was, you know, the goal. I think it's full time for Sister Rise, and combine that with a Clefable that's not offensive, and, you know, we got a pretty tough situation. <laughs> but yeah, he goes for Taunt here, you know, cutting my recovery. I assume him here, since it was showing Light Screen and Taunt, that he only has one way of attacking me, and that's gonna be Spirit Break. So, um, I'm not gonna go for another round of attacks here, because I don't wanna take that Spirit Break at all. And uh, I'm just gonna go decide to go directly for Boglodite, my um, Toxapex. Now, I hate Toxapex as much as the next guy, but uh, <coughs> besides me coughing, um, like, it's such a good response for stuff you don't know what to do about. And I'm feeling a lot of that when I play 
against people in the smoke on you that you, know, you bring toxic picks because why wouldn't you and here we see a super legit shiny cinderace and um, at this point was gonna you know, don't be bulk up and don't be send headbutt if you if you aren't that we're fine so in case I can get him burned as he goes for the Libya and change the typing, he's actually um, Electro Ball, which is both good and bad. It's bad because it means it's 120 power versus me every time. It's good because how Lucha does not mind that. Um, as basically if I get unburden activated versus um, the Cinderace, I shouldn't be all that worried. Uh, but he actually goes for a core change here, bringing the self rush onto my side as I realized that, yeah, but he also gave me light screen. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea why I did that play, but basically I have the means to take those self rocks away anyway. But yeah, I was just double checking. Did he, did he really give me light screen? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, there is no, like, he has potentially special sweepers, but the most effective ones aren't active on the fields. So I guess it is, is a big disadvantage as he brings his own Toxapex. You know, this is this is a stalemate. There is we can't do anything to one another, and uh, he might be forcing my hand. Uh, now I decide eventually to go to Star Scream as I while I did want to go to my Cinderace myself and bulk up and go for Sun Headbutt because that combination would absolutely eradicate him. Uh, I kind of realized with Stealth Rocks, I'm I'm kind of in a pickle, so I need to get them out of the way anyway. Um, and the only way thing I can do versus Tox or Toxapex is actually pressure stall him if I so desire with uh, my Corviknight. But with a 20 minute timer, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so I'll just go directly for that Defog. Theoretically, there is nothing I can do. He actually decides to um, recover on this turn. Well, I couldn't tell you why, because basically what that means is that. Um, well, what could I possibly do to hurt him with a Corviknight? That was basically what I was asking myself. I, I figured he skull burned me, but no, that didn't happen. So now I'm a bit of position because I have the means to force him out, but would I? Uh, I should bring Cliff Abel here, and the reason for that is because I realized at least I can knock him off. You know, cutting his potential recovery for bringing Cinderace in more efficiently. But um, no, he keeps Toxic Spiking. I thought that was strange. With, with the obvious thing in mind that I could pressure stall him. <laughs> I figured, you know, one will let off that strat, but no, he decided not to. Um, now, the knockoff here is actually theoretically irrelevant how effective it could have been, but he actually brings in Sarah Aura, and I'll never switch him properly to Sarah Aura ever, but CNX Propelled had me figure that, you know, it could be any set right now, but most likely a physical one. Um, so I go for Moonblast and try to get as much damage as possible as uh, he goes for his own knockoff and uh, cutting my leftovers. Uh, Moonblast will do alright, but it doesn't knock him out and I think, you know, Plasma Fist, I could take it and I could kill him in return. That shouldn't be a problem, I thought, as, you know what, he is pulling the trump card. He is absolutely thinking, fuck this guy, I'm gonna beat him. I'm not gonna have a silly Clefable or Smuggler rules being bound with my side. And I was feeling, you know, damn it! <laughs> what do I do now? There is, I've never ever prepped for Cinderace ever. So, um, or Cinderace, I mean Zerora. But we do take that Plasma Fist, which is cool. But I was like, okay, Moonblast, do your thing. <laughs> no, no, no. So he has one more turn of absolutely slaughter versus me, and um, I have no switching. I have one strand in mind that I kind of leveled with, and that was actually just I sack play this and I switch it in my Rilla Boom and um, basically U turn kill him, hoping he doesn't have fire punch. Um, I do believe I could take a fire punch, but I didn't want to necessarily appreciate that one. But yeah, Max Lightning would absolutely make me a very, very sad little yellow puff. As um, Fable is greatest generation, hell, I love that guy when I use it myself. But <laughs> yeah, basically, I was leveling here. You know, can I stall this turn up another way? No, there is no way. But I can cut his his terrain, and I can absolutely U turn out and try to get momentum out of that because my initial idea is to get in my toxic packs back again and uh, ensure that those toxic spikes are away. <sighs> that said, though, you know. 
he like I said he could have had fire punch here and I'm really unsure how well I would have taken that if it was adamant but I was feeling kind of cocky as um, I actually think he went for play rough and I was so surprised by this because why would you have play rough it doesn't necessarily feel anything for you but you know I'll take it I'll take it very well uh, I was, you know, obviously with like steel types, I guess you have close combat, right? But then why you could have gone for that instead, you know, I'll live with that. But, you know, I shouldn't be that guy. I really shouldn't. Um, Sarah Aura do struggle with grass type. I don't necessarily believe just that really Boom represents that defensive grass type. But besides that, it got me clearly an advantage here to uh, get myself started on you with a very, very slow momentum killer in Toxapex. Now, I clearly realize here that if he switches in his own Toxic Pegs, I'm switching in directly to Cinderace. I'm not having it. I'm gonna go for that bulk up early and I'm gonna try to wrap up the game, but he actually goes to Grimmsnarl. And uh, I shouldn't say I was worried, but rather, you know, what do I do here? Do I try to bring in my Star Scream and pressure him that way? It'll bring his own uh, Toxic Pegs in. So I figured, you know, we can Skull Burn him. He actually decides to go for a Taunt on me, which was... Um, I think that was a good play. Um, because I couldn't go for a Toxic or set up my Toxic Spikes that I don't have. But um, you know, that was a clear idea what it would do. So I keep Scalding. He goes to Spirit Break over Light Scream at first. And... Um, I mean, Special Attack fell. I mean, I'm clearly weaker. And uh, it seems that I am very, very, very much not able to get a burn whatsoever so I keep scalling and he eventually gonna set up the light screen I was kind of thinking just don't get reflect up as long as you don't do that I think I'm okay uh, but I don't want to go for that ideal sweep until I get that but yeah you know clearly still no uh, no burn now I went for Toxic here thinking my no he's gonna go for reflect right now he taunts me he gets me what an absolute mad lad and <laughs> <laughs> my grassy terrain is over, my dual recovery is over, and um, I was basically thinking, hmm, I, I need a leadway. I need a proper leadway, um, because basically right now I just need a physical attacker to come in and wrap up the game. But he goes to Cinderace, and here is where the end game starts, because I have no idea how I should be able to uh, win this game, but... We will soon get the notion that we only have three minutes left to wrap up the game and I need to do something. And I say do something because yeah, I can survive this guy, I absolutely can. But I need, I get a crit here which is absolutely magnificent. Um, <laughs> basically telling light screen to piss off. Um, now I actually do decide to go for recover. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest, <laughs> I was leveling, you know, how, do, how do I get through this? But like I said, they're basically eventually we're gonna get that message there. The game we only have 20 minutes, and that gets us only so far. And um, I basically decided I need to do it. Uh, so I'm actually gonna switch into my Rilla Boom. And the idea here is to set up terrain. And as we already confirmed that he doesn't have Sin Headbutt, we know that his best attack versus me is Powerball with against Halucha. But I was thinking maybe. Maybe he messes up thinking wild charge is smarter, even though I'd get to double the speed. Um, so I thought that maybe, maybe, maybe it this could work. Um, I am clearly second real boom here. Now, it would have been nice if his parable would have missed. I, I won't deny that. But um, it's not that I was going to kill him in return anyway. I figured I just went for that safe knockoff. Oh, I went for drum beating. Yeah, of course I did. Uh, in case of a speed tie with another other Cinderace, but yeah, Powerball, there's nothing to it. There is one dead gorilla <laughs> on the field, and it was never shot uh, <laughs> with a ball. But basically, Halucha is coming in, and I was feeling that, uh, or rather, he did something unforgivable versus me, and that was setting off a Dynamax Pokemon versus me. And I won't have that. I will never accept anybody doing that. So I'm gonna do the best of my ability to set up that sword stance, hoping he goes for a wild charge because Powerball will still do a lot of damage, but Electro Ball, I was gonna say wild charge, that Electro Ball will not do that impressive amount of damage at all. 
and I am now basically telling him the gig is up, you can pack your bags, Libero Cinderace, you are not as good as you think you are, and I'm just gonna boost. I'm gonna boost away. I I haven't Dynamax in I was gonna say years, but days. I haven't Dynamax in two months. So he switches into his Omri and all his feeling is this this poor soul. He has no idea what's coming to him. And even if he did, even if he did, it would never have mattered because Haulucha is here and the game is over. <laughs> and there's the three minutes mark. I knew, like I said, when I was playing, I just knew that, you know, we need a breakthrough. I am being super passive and I have the means to maybe wrap up. I was kind of scared to reflect from the Grim Snarl, but no, I have no reason to be that worried because basically. I needed to pressure my opponent who basically had free switch-ins throughout the game but never really abused them against me and now that I turned this game about, uh, well, it didn't take that long, once I shifted the momentum it was mine to take and yes, I'll argue that Dynamaxing allowed me to wrap up the game but I also kinda wanna say that he thought that Dynamax was gonna save him, come on, come on, there was, there was no end game where he was gonna win. I think, <laughs> but yeah, basically I gotta say, this 2 minutes mark, or 2 minute timer, or 2 minute, yeah, 20 minute timer is the worst, it's the absolute beast of the meta, and uh, I really hope with a new DLC that, you know, we get something out of this, because we need longer games, we do, we deserve it, I absolutely think we deserve it, but yeah, I mean, he's what he's in his here, and there is really nothing to it, it's gonna absolutely die, because it's a Cinderace course it dies <laughs> and um, his last mount should be uh, Toxapex and uh, he'll actually take the coward's route I really want to know if a plus five acrobatics is enough to deal with a, a Toxapex behind a reflect but yeah he um, I was gonna check my stats before I attacked him but yeah he took the coward's way out and today you would rather go down in my book as the almost guy. But you didn't win. Because you dynamaxed. You poor guy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this game. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you another day. Take care everyone. Bye.